Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the September monthly map spread for the sign of Aquarius, my Aqua Baby, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is for the month of September. I'm not sure whether I said that or not. So anyhow, you know now it is for the month of September. Guys, please remember these are general readings. Time is fluid and energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you're here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so very much, guys. Welcome back. Your support is much needed, very much appreciated. And bless y'all for that. Aquas, we are ready very fast. We are ready to burn bridges, I hear. We are ready to let the past go, finally, finally. I feel this is more energetic than physically, like the past was in the past, like it was kind of over, whatever this is. I feel this is more to do with relationships, but this could be any cycle that came to an end. Now you are finally ready to let go of that energetically lovely let us see what more energies pop out and how they are interacting with each other oh look at this finally you feeling yourself star popping out that is you that is your major arcana you finally after a very long time feel like you know whole you feel like you're back you're you. Empress trying to create a new beginning. Something new is in the making. This is beautiful, beautiful energy right here. And the world. Oh my God. Yes, a new beginning. Some new, beautiful beginning in the process. Very blessed. A lot of healing coming from this wrapping up energetic cycle from you know letting the past be in the past letting go of any kind of negative emotion that you have held on for a very long time whether it was anger whether it was self-loathing i hear and whether it was some kind of intense heavy energy that was clearly not working in your favor it wasn't working for you but it was difficult to let go of but now you are doing it. Wonderful energy here. Aquas, how beautiful is that? You finally being you, feeling whole again. Chariot, ready to move. Ready to move towards this new world, towards this new beginning, towards this new way of looking at your life. Because there is a load that has come off your heart and your shoulder and you feel energized rejuvenated divine seem to have healed you there's a lot of healing energy that is coming from that star and the empress card and you are ready to move towards this new phase in life where you feel so free and light and wonderful like like a child wow the world spirit let's go towards the world Look, like a child, you are ready to spread your wings. Oh, wonderful. Oh, Aquas, it's, there is a, such a lovely, you know, first day in the kindergarten kind of a sense of um, excitement, that innocence that I feel with this card. Like, ready to enter this whole new phase in your life, this world that has come along with a lot of healing, a sense of closure, a sense of letting go. And with that forgiveness, I hear you are moving on in your life. Probably the reason why you were not energetically able to move further was that you were not able to forgive hangman, but now you understand better. For whatever happened, had to happen kind of a thing. Yeah, look, you are ready to spread your wings and take that flight. 
It has taken you long to get here and it has been tough. It has been tough to say the least. But man, what a beautiful, beautiful healing process that I see unfolding in front of me. Lovely. Page of Earth Spirit. Where are we heading? Yeah, look. Three of air. Yeah, this is this is a sense of healing coming in here. This is you finally letting go of the past. You finally dealing with the pain. There is a sense of heaviness being lifted that you have dealt with. This has a lot of heartache involved in this. But you have come through the whole cycle of grief. This is the cycle of grief wrapping up. Yes. Temptation coming in. This could be because there is something new on the horizon. Something that is now tempting you to have this closure. But the good thing is that this is only coming now. It isn't like a rebound, I would say. This could be also tempted to finally feel free. It's not in a warning, caution or negative way that this temptation is coming in. This is like feeling tempted to live life again freely and fully and feeling whole again. This is really beautiful, like dealing with heavy emotions, finding it difficult to, you know, let go. But now that you have understood healing has come along, we are clearly, you know, heading towards something new, very much sorted. Five of air. A rather delicate cycle that you have dealt with because clearly emotions were there intense emotions were there and I feel somewhere somebody got their heart broken as well so burning bridges were needed was a necessity but you were not really very sure and it was a delicate situation to deal with somehow hmm and it took time to understand how to go about it. And you did take time. I think many people were like, you know, get over with things and just start afresh. And you were like, nah, uh, uh, I need to deal with a few things first before I just jump into something new, you know. One more, please, to wrap up this circle of energy. Please, to close this circle of energy, I just need one more spirit. Just one more, please. One more for my aquas for September. This, okay. Patience. Wow. You took time, as I was saying. You took time. People were saying, move forward, you know. It's okay, let past be in the past. And probably you started showing people this as well, that you've moved on. But energetically, no. It is only now that you from within feel like it's time to move on. So, yeah, probably for the world, you were like on the go, but not really. Because you were kind of tired of people... You know, being all, oh, you know, move in your life, do something, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh my God, can you just shut up? <laughs> and probably just to shut these people up, you started pretending that you've moved on. But it is now finally that you are going to. And we have tower moving forward, moving away, letting this tower moment teach you. Take the teachings, take the learnings and move. That is now that is happening. 
this is really a circle of grief a cycle of grief being put to a close wow you should be very proud of yourself aquas it is not that easy to do what you have done here with the level of patience that you have shown and the time that you have taken and probably in, in this process there might have been some temptations but it seems like you resisted there was a delicate balance that you had to maintain probably for a child as well i see this what a beautiful innocent child right here look and now it is time i feel the innocence is coming back in the childlike enthusiasm is coming back in and you're ready to spread your wings but you are very much rooted you understand what happened why it happened and the learnings have come your way from this tower moment that you had to learn let's clarify ten of fire king of wands and nine of pentacles look this is freeing yourself from whatever that past is and being extremely ambitious and very very determined very very determined for this new beginning of whatever sort that is star please clarify star spirit seven of cups so many so many doors opening up so many opportunities coming your way because now you feel like you there is no blockages no energetic blocks anymore no energetic obstacles anymore so the energy is now flowing in you see so many opportunities now coming your way to start this new look queen of pentacles and the empress coming along with the empress wow this is for your long-term stability this is for your finances for some definitely this whatever new that you are creating is going to bring in a lot of abundance to you the world the world spirit why do we have the world please clarify the world empress coming with empress is just so wonderful look eight of swords coming in the reverse moving on breaking these mental blockages moving on from any kind of energetic bullshit any energetic hurdles anything that was making you feel like stuck in the past you are moving on towards this new beginning and talk about move on let's go to the chariot <laughs> magician and the two of wands look you are at the crossroads it is time to pick whichever side and remember whichever side you're going to pick up is the right one for you at that point in time make things happen and you are in that mindset where you are ready to make things happen for yourself the magician right there lovely the page of earth bringing in balance success this could be a windfall of some sorts you know beginner's luck i hear there's something new that you are ready to begin and you know it just clicks and you're like yoohoo <laughs> hanged man the time taken look the time taken to deal with this heartache i was taken to that three of air three of swords again you took time loves it was not easy this was very intense this was not like those you know teenage romance that you had to get over with the high school sweetheart or whatever and then you know life happens and you move on no -uh. this was something way more intense and as i said probably kids involved too you took your time to deal with this pain or the pain took its own time you did not speed up this cycle of grief or this process of dealing with grief okay and no matter what people said you took the time that was needed simple it's never too late or too soon it is the time 
needed for everybody to process grief at their own pace. So good for you. Three of air spirit. This pain that had been dealt with. Time to let go of that. Please clarify the three of air, the three of swords, the pain, the betrayal, the cheating, the backstabbing, whatever this was that took so much time for my aquas to finally come to terms with. Could you be so kind and please clarify? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The lovers coming in. This was very intense. This was a very deep connection. This was like a soul connection for you. And it brought you so much pain. And then you got all cautious. And you isolated yourself. Hermit, we have. You isolated yourself to figure things out. And you did. You truly did. You lit this inner light up. And you saw what issue was there. And now that you see it, you're going to address it. If you see a snake, you're not going to step on it. So good. Lesson learned. Acknowledging whatever has happened. Because this is so intense. This was a very, very deep connection. And the pain that it brought along was extremely, extremely difficult to process. The five of air, look, this is the delicate balance that I was talking about in this conflict. This was from the past. This was a karmic cycle that you had to deal with. This is somebody from the past. This was very, very strong, intense connection from the past that you had to deal with. Temptation. Temptation comes along with the page of cups. Yeah, that new enthusiasm that I was talking about. This temptation does not feel like, you know, caution or warning or, you know, too much or whatever. This feels like somebody new coming in. Somebody new coming in. You're taking your time. You're not really, you know, jumping guns or something like that. Patience. Patience. I feel that you are very much aware. So, this is like, I know that caution sign, you see it, you know, it's not that you are like, so wooed by somebody that you don't see it. You see this new beginning coming in and you know that, you know, you need to take your own time, which you, any which ways took to deal with that. And even for this new one, you're taking your time to deal with whatever this new energy that's coming in that tower moment is not easy to deal with to say the least but you've dealt with it look as i was saying hangman coming in twice here with patience you are taking your own time you acknowledge this new beginning you acknowledge this very tickly new energy this could be someone new coming in this could be this new empress you know entering your heart zone with whom you want to look for a long-term whatever a new world but you're taking time which is great fantastic look moon this is all dealing with your emotions i I am so happy for you, Aquas. You really should be patting your back and you should be so proud of yourself for having dealt with one of probably the biggest lessons in your life. For some, it really truly feels like that. Like this was as intense as a big, huge life lessons, you know. There are these chapters which are easy beasy lemon squeezy and you are done and you know you move on to the next chapter of the life book and then comes this really crazy really fat book chapter it's like an entire book is the chapter and then whew, okay how are we gonna deal with that 
<laughs> now this is how you dealt with it it was intense but what a wonderful wonderful thing it is now that you are finally able to close the cycle of grief knowing every step that you have dealt with the way you have and now looking forward to something beautiful and new and very exciting and tickling coming your way you are ang anxious a bit about this and uh, we have happy life happy family are you anxious about this new beginning maybe that is the reason you are taking time it's not the universe telling you to be cautious maybe we, you are taking a little more time than the universe wants you to but hey you do you is what i'm gonna say let's read anxiety and then happy family in anxious of this new beginning because it's not that easy you know to switch on switch off from that grief mode to looking forward to happiness mode but clearly we have new energies like page of cups and the page of earth coming in to bring balance back in life and uh, there is a certain level of you know attraction that's there that is also helping in this going towards the new beginning the woman in this card is filled with anxiety worrying about something that causes her a great deal of discomfort receiving this card upright may indicate that you are experiencing a time of increased stress is this new beginning bringing you stress i mean it can you're not ready for love or you feel maybe you are maybe that's the reason universe is knocking on your door like you are ready perhaps even a situation that you find yourself brooding about much of the time however if you will notice the scene outside the window the storm is distant and perhaps even moving away whatever is going on this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax chill yeah enjoy this new whatever happy tickly feeling that's coming your way brooding and fretting will never solve things so trust in yourself and your process when you live with a relaxed heart and mind you're far more likely to receive the solutions that you seek and let's go now to happy family i said happy life before right it need not necessarily be your direct family this could be extended family that's bringing you happiness now or you know you thinking of starting new family with somebody or whatever that is i mean at the end of the day is your happy life that you are basically being nudged towards by the universe this is your divine guidance coming your way the rainbow over this happy family portends a time of joy and celebration close connections are available so don't overlook the fun and frivolity that a friend or family experience can bring see that's what i'm saying the value that you find in a truly loving relative or friend brings a higher vibration to your life force you may be distracted or busy but remember to put this part of your life in the forefront of your priorities if you are single finding this card in your spread could indicate a potential meeting that attraction that i feel for some people is true somebody new coming in or perhaps a relationship with someone who has children from a previous marriage or you have children from previous marriage whatever remember the energies can be reverse this ready made family might bring some challenges but it could and probably that is the reason why you are um, anxious about it as well but it could be your destiny in this lifetime this card may also simply signify a celebration coming up such as a wedding anniversary or birthday party so enjoy and on that absolutely wonderful note my aquas i'm going to take your leave i thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of cards